Hello and greetings from Eastern Europe, my name is called Bear HD and this is top 15 of the games that you can play while being bored. Some of them are old, some are newer, but in general most of them are fun to play. You won't like them all, so don't expect miracles from this list. Take a bowl of potato salad, pour some vodka in the jar and enjoy. Monstrum this game was one of the most entertaining things I ever played. Okay, at first I watched Markiplier playing it, and that experience was hilarious. If you don't want to play it yourself, just watch him. I also have one video recorded in my channel, it's quite good, check it out. Anyway, this game is best enjoyed with friends, or at least record your face while playing it, because you probably want to share this experience with someone. Your pale, deformed from the overwhelming fear face will bring much joy to your buddies. Or your mother. To say short, you are on an abandoned ship. There are no vodka anywhere around, so you have to escape this terrible place as soon as possible. Oh, and there are monsters trying to kill you. Feria. Bored of Gwent and Hearthstone? No problem, try Feria. Here you will find enough content to keep you entertained for hours. If you like Hearthstone and Magic the Gathering, then you may very well like the deck building aspects of Feria. It involves tactics as well as strategy, since it uses a hex board. Graphics and style will blow you, well, at least your mind. Game used to be free, but now it's not. It got a lot of negative reviews lately because of that, but don't worry, game is still great. It's just not free anymore. The message Feria now sends us sounds like Stop being poor or something. That's rude, Feria. Wow, you can't say that to people. Let them be poor as long as they like. Well, try to get this game on a sale. Heroes Free, the Horn of the Abyss. Old but gold, or should I say old but vodka. I played Heroes Free when I was a teenager and now, 20 years later, I discovered that the version I played was far from finished. After installing Horn of the Abyss, I realized that I missed entire towns and campaigns, monsters, buildings, artifacts and heroes. It was a great rediscovery of this amazing game. You can buy Heroes Free Shadow of Death on GOG.com, then you have to download Horn of the Abyss version and then install HD Plus launcher. I will post the links for you in the description below. You know what the best part of all of this is? You can play multiplayer! Yes, it's perfectly functioning and there are a lot of players you can play with. There are even championships all over the planet you can participate in. Also, don't hesitate and press that like button. Also, subscribe. You won't be sorry, I promise. They are billions. This is a great game for you to spend time by building your fortified city and defending from waves of zombies. You can call it tower defense game, except here you have no direct path of monsters which you can fortify and defend. Here you are building the city. The bigger it gets, the easier you can defend, but also the bigger it gets, the more vulnerable points it will acquire. To say short, there are billions of zombies and they want your brains. If there is a breach in your fortification, you are doomed. A great game. I'm definitely recommending it. Diablo 2 Median XL Another old but vodka game with a twist! If you played Diablo 2 long time ago, this is the place where you can re-experience everything but in never before seen manner. Median is the most popular Diablo 2 overhaul modification with extensive endgame content, deep character customization and challenging gameplay. It offers thousands of new items, new skills for all classes and multiple improvements to the Diablo 2 engine itself. Also new areas to explore, new bosses, New, new everything! A must play for every Diablo fan. You will find the link of Median in the description below. GTA 5 Sandbox if you are bored, GTA 5 or actually any GTA game is a great way to kill time. Have you tried to steal fighter jet? A passenger plane? Of course you have, but... Have you tried to do tricks that other people upload on YouTube? Just pick anything you haven't done yet and enjoy your time in this amazing game. YouTube is full of challenges, game is full of opportunities. You probably played it a lot already, but it's never too late to go back and try something new. Fallout Shelter. 
When I was young, there was a popular Japanese toy named Tamagotchi, where you grow a digital creature, feed him, play with him, give him marinated herring with shaltiborshi, and so on. But that was some 20 years ago. Now we have this, an amazing game where you can grow your underground people with many needs, amazing features, and so on. It's very addictive. I guess you can compare it with Sims, but in Fallout universe. Play it on your mobile, because it's better experience than PC version. Game is free. Alien Isolation Change your boredom into the fear. This game is all about being hunted by a creature far superior than you are. Whole game you're hiding and running and trying to get to places while there is a monster nearby. This is my favorite horror game. I can't compare it only with Amnesia and Soma from Frictional Games, but it feels larger and it's very scary. Me and my girlfriend tried to play it while being influenced by vodka, but it was still very scary experience and fun. Really, really fun. Here you can test the toughness of your balls while being entertained. We played on PS4 and there is a function where the alien can hear you through the microphone. Yes, the real you sitting comfortably in your cozy room. Also, if you have a camera, creature can sense your movement. That's very immersive and really cool. Rocket League this game is a great no-brainer, but it will require a lot of skill. At first you will be driving in circles around the huge ball and you just watch how others score zillions of points into your gates. But later you will start to sense the game and rise like a phoenix from noob level to wood level. Yeah, it's a long path to go from zero to hero. I am 35 years old, so I play with my buddies who like me are lame and slow. And I'm still having lots of fun. If you're bored, just go for it. And while we're here, ask yourself, have you pressed that like button? Press it now and I will drink vodka in your honor. Hotline Miami 2, wrong number. Pew pew pew! This game is not just good, it's great and hard. You know what it's not? It's not boring. Grab your weapon and go into the frenzy schmenzy killing craze. Blistering combat against punishing opposition will require intense focus as a new wearables. Weapons and methods of execution are introduced throughout the game. As I mentioned, game is hard and you will have to play some places over and over again. But after you achieve victory, you will feel like a true combat god. World of Goo. It's a multiple award winning physics based puzzle construction game made entirely by two guys. Drag and drop living, squirming, talking globs of goo to build structures, bridges, cannonballs and zeppelins. This game has low learning curve, so at first you will feel like a pro, but later it will get more and more challenging. I have spent many hours trying to figure out how to beat some of the levels. This is a true time killer and this game is anything but boring. I will totally recommend recommend it. Journey Want to spend a few hours traveling in the mysterious land? That's the game for you. It's really short, few hours only, but if you are bored, it might just be enough for you to kill the time. In fact, playing this game is a lot like reading a good book. You want to know what happened next, and the only way to do that is go to the next chapter. There is a twist at the very end of this game. If you don't know what I'm talking about, please don't google it, or you ruin the surprise for yourself. Undertale. That's exactly what it is. A tale. But this tale breaks the stereotypes of gaming and storytelling. Personally, I don't like it. I don't like Undertale and I'm not afraid to say it. You see, I'm a writer in the real world and this game reminds me of what I do every day. I mean dialogues, plot twists and other similar things. While playing I was always thinking what I might have done better or worse in one place or another. But all my friends, I have like two of them, were saying that's the best thing they have ever played. Just try it, maybe you'll like it. Portal 2. Haha, <laughs> you would say. An ancient puzzle game he wants me to play, how lame. Yeah, but have you finished it? Have you actually finished the game? Maybe when you played it challenged you too hard and now it's the time to make another run for it? Or maybe you just played Portal 1 and never tried the second part? Or maybe you played second part but never did the first one? You, you know what to do. Super 
Super Brothers, Sword and Sorcery. This is really unique experience. It's not a game for you if you're looking for some fast-paced and action-packed game. Here you will witness a surprisingly moving story, melancholy and nostalgia rules here, so maybe this pixel art game will synchronize with your mood. It is point-and-click kind of a game, so you can relax and enjoy this without stress. As IGN once said, game masterfully blends music, art, storytelling and gameplay in deeply poetic ways that you don't see very often. And now I want to invite you to follow my Facebook page, where I post not only my own videos, but free game offers from all over the internet. Also I have an Instagram, where I post photos from events and other places. Please follow for more fun. And ask yourself last time, have you pressed that like button? Have you? Okay, thanks. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.